Yeah, Joanne and Steven, if you can open this safe, you get half of what's inside. I feel like a game show host today, but this huge safe, it's like seven feet tall. There's something in there. We don't know what, but the owner of the safe is with me now. Nabil, tell me your last name. Ganim. Nabil Ganim of the mini market, Tower Mini Market here. All right, so here's the deal. You moved into the shop about yes. a few months ago. You mm -hmm. started remodeling. You found the safe in here. Mm -hmm. This shop used to be either a bank or a jewelry store. Yes. This huge safe was in there. You've moved it outside. Tell us what you're hoping now, because you couldn't open it, right? So far, we can't. Nobody can open it. There's a lot of people that have been coming through, suggesting and trying, but nobody could open it so far. And you think this safe has been around since, what, 1969? That's what people around the area that they say that this safe has been around here in this building since 1969, since this building has been built. And so, basically, I mean, there could be jewelry in there. There could be money in there you don't know well it's hope that there is something worthwhile <laughs> <laughs> or it could be nothing yeah it could just be yeah. dust yeah, well, right. so now have you tried to open it looks like you guys have tried to rip it open in there it was really in a better shape than this but uh we couldn't open it because uh, all these uh lock people that they want to come and open it they want fifteen two thousand dollars fifteen two thousand fifteen hundred two thousand dollars so what we did is we tried to, with a sledgehammer, with a torch, with this and that, it didn't work. Anything you can do. I love that sign that you have on the side that says, anybody who takes this thing gets Please $50. We'll pay you 50 bucks. <laughs> yeah, perfect. And, uh, and no, uh, clearly no one's taking you up on your offer, but that might be because it's 5,000 pounds. Yes, it is 5,000 pounds. It took five guys, I mean, not average guy, big guys, and a pallet jack and three, four hours to get it about 20 feet from inside outside. Well, you know what, so you're offering half of whatever's in there, assuming there's something in there, to whoever comes and opens open it. it. Yes. Uh, yeah. All right, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time, and uh, we, we hope someone opens it. We'll, 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 keep, post, we'll keep you posted <laughs> on what, what's in there. So, uh, guys, back to you. Now, is this something where somebody's gonna have to, like, you know, Thanks pick the lock or figure out a combination, or are they just gonna have to brute force this thing open with dynamite? Well, from what I understand is they can't figure out how to open the thing. I mean, look at this. You've got, it looks like this is the door to it right here, but you can't really, there's no, there's no like, do, this is the door right here. I mean, this was the keyhole right here. And that, look, here, here's here's the, the piece <laughs> that would, you know, that would open it. I think and, we see the problem. Yeah, but it's, it's not it's not working real well. So uh, I'll be out here all night trying to open it up. <laughs> all right, uh, we'll check back in with you sometime tonight. Maybe for the next 24 hours, we'll keep going back. You've got to put a live Perfect. camera on there that. There better be thing. jewelry in there. Oh yeah, yeah that's good. for sure. Thanks, Tom.